A word of warning. If you're easily offended by cannibalism, death, torture, and fascinating facts about the human body, this series may not be for you. Therefore, listener discretion is advised. Cannibalism. Could you eat a whole human being? With the help of a doctor, a scientist, and a chef, I set out to see if it's possible. Cannibalism. Part 17. The liver. Like Hannibal Lecter, could a cannibal eat a census taker's liver with a nice Chianti? Maybe. 1990, North Korea. Park Myung Sik, nicknamed the Organ Harvester, scoured the farms of rural villages in search of fit young teens. Across seven months, at least nine of his 13 known victims were found stabbed, with their abdomens ripped open. Only this specific cannibal wasn't a little bit peckish, as being an alcoholic with chronic cirrhosis, he'd mistakenly believed that by eating their healthy livers, that would cure his. As the largest organ in the torso, the liver weighs three pounds or one and a half kilos. And as a dark red organ, shaped like a cone, it sits on the right of the abdomen, underneath the diaphragm and just above the stomach. But it's not just there to filter the alcohol when we've had a little bit too much booze. The liver is a multifunctional organ. Holding 13%, roughly a pint of your blood at any one time, the liver stores nutrients, removes waste, filters chemicals, metabolizes medications, produces bile for breaking down fats and clotting agents for blood. Divided into two main lobes and subdivided into a hundred thousand smaller lobes, it regulates blood sugar levels. It produces heat to maintain our body temperature. It helps keep our mind healthy and toxin free. And it's the only organ which can regenerate itself to the point where you can survive with just 70% of it removed. In 1847, Jeremiah Johnson of Wyoming, known as Liver Eating Johnson, launched a vendetta against the Native American Flathead tribe after the murder of his wife, for which he scalped 300 plus Crow Indians and ate their livers. But as either a myth, a rumor, or an exaggeration spawned in an era where the barely literate got their facts from dime novels, it's possible that this was just a lie to induce fear. With just 10% fat, 30% blood, and not being a muscle but a gland. The human liver contains just 2,500 calories, barely enough to keep a cannibal alive for a single day. As a good source of energy, it's pretty poor. But being so nutrient-dense, storing vitamins like A, D, E, K, B12, iron and copper, the liver is a superfood. So could a cannibal eat a liver with fava beans and a nice Chianti? No. At least, not in one sitting. If you ate another person's liver, you'd receive half the toxic dose of vitamin A in a single hit. Known as hypervitaminosis, even Paleolithic cannibals knew the danger of liver toxicity, with too much being eaten leading to vomiting, delirium and death. So I hate to be the party pooper, Dr. Lecter, but with any more than 100 grams of liver being too toxic for a human, a whole liver would take you 15 days to eat. That said, by those guidelines, with 167,000 people dying each day, if we put our morals aside, 100 grams of liver a day would make a little over half a million pounds of half-decent pate enough to keep the entire population of Paris happy, or at least less miserable, for the rest of their baguette-chomping lives. Being bitter and sweet, like pig's liver, human liver would be best suitable for stews, or pan-fried with onions and bacon. With no gristle, little fat or sinew, and no bone, it needs very little preparation or cooking. As being soft, silky and lean, Anything more than medium rare makes it taste like an old boot. 
and as a permeable organ, it also suits being smoked or flavoured with chilli, red wine or peppercorn. When removing a cadaver's liver, although possibly too drunk to know, the organ harvester of North Korea could possibly tell if a liver was off, as a fresh liver is a rich reddish brown and is slightly firm, but an off liver is pale and slippery. And if the victim like himself had cirrhosis, their capillaries above the waist would be burst like little red spiders. The whites of their eyes would have a yellow hue, as they can't process a pigment called bilibrim. The liver would smell of ammonia, and unable to regenerate itself, the liver would be scarred. And as a human meat isn't vetted like animal meat, there would be no way for him to tell if it contains any blood diseases like hepatitis. 1997-2000 In Ryazan, Russia, Igor Churasov, also known as the Scavenger of Humanity, murdered seven people with an accomplice in the wake of the collapse of communism and the starvation of its people. Strangling his victims, he cut up their corpses, pulled out their hearts and livers, popped them in a frying pan, and then ate them. But did he die of hypervitaminosis? No, as although hungry, he shared the livers with his friends and they ate it over a few days. You see, they're psychotic, but they're not stupid. Join me tomorrow to explore if it's possible to eat a person's poop shoot. The waste system. Oh, nice.